brief bit of technical difficulty, everybody. SCP Containment Breach has an annoying little bug being an indie game where, for some reason, it will just fucking wig out and break itself. So, I had to fix the stream for a little bit. So, we're back. Uh, let me know if the screen is still black. If it's not, and you can hear me, uh, we will get going. Screen's still black, guys, or can you see it? Let me know. Ah, fuck it. Let's try this again with less fail. Bait. I'm going to be bait again! Awesome, it's back up. Okay. SCP-012. Ah, that must be the music sheet. The evil killer music sheet. Yes, there are uh, evil inanimate objects in this game that can and will kill you. Uh, they do different things. Like, there's a painting that kills you. It doesn't kill you. If you stare at it long enough, the painting actually um, makes you rip your own face off and kill yourself by driving you mentally insane. I can't remember exactly what the music sheet does. I'm not entirely sure. I think this was the one where if you sit down and you start to play the song on the sheet, um, it forces you to play until you literally die of starvation or something like that. I could be wrong. I haven't really uh, followed the SCP lore much. I mostly just know about 173. Okay, let's do this. Okay, maybe this time I can actually, you know... Okay, on the behalf of the SCP Foundation and our staff, we welcome you to an exciting one-month working period in one of our top secret... I've got some work for you. Please step out of the cell. Sir, I was reading. It's very rude to interrupt somebody while they're reading. Just follow me. We're authorized to kill any disobedient test subjects, so don't try anything stupid. Why in the hell do I feel like I'm playing fucking Gmod? You guys look so familiar. You're like out of Splinter Cell or something. So this is where dead Splinter Cell soldiers go when they die. Instructions from the intercom, and you'll probably be fine. You fill me with so much confidence there, bro. Hey, it's my cell buddies again. You guys ready to take it up the ass? Let's go, I'm so excited. Please enter the containment chamber. I can't watch! Please approach SCP-173 for testing. What exactly are we supposed to be testing? Uh, How long we can stare at it? With the door control system. The door isn't responding to any of our attempts to close it. So, please maintain direct eye contact with SCP-173 and just... Uh, holy fuck. You can... Stay as far away from me as you want to, bro. Whoa! Right. Now it's time to fucking GTFO. Oh shit. Oh! Oh god. 
Oh god. I can hear 173. It wants the skin off my boat! Where's the door control? Where's the door control? No, seriously, where's the door control? Ah! You sneaky motherfucker! Um... What's my map seed? I can't see my map seed. Um... Okay, well, we'll just... We'll just start a new game. Uh... Great. Okay then. Um... You know what? Something more appropriate, because we all know it's inevitable! The SCP Foundation is an organization dedicated to the containment and research of anomalous artifacts. Oh. Right. Well, um, thanks for changing while I was reading their text. Very, very much appreciated, yes, most definitely. Hopefully I can actually get past 173 long enough to, uh, you know, meet some of the other SCPs, because there are more. If you go to the SCP Foundation website, there are, uh, I believe, 3,000 cataloged creatures and inanimate objects that are classified as SCPs. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that can kill you. Well, not just kill you. There are some that, you know, they're there, but they don't know what they're there for. They're, you know, just there to be there. And then there are some that are classified as safe, which means they're proven to be completely harmless. Like, one of them's a rubber ducky. I'm not shitting you. One of the safe SCPs is a rubber ducky. I am not making that up. I forgot which one it was, or its number. Press any key, great. Okay, more death. I pressed a key. You can, you know, work. Ah, okay. E. And, uh, you guys on YouTube can just, you know, pause this. Just pause it and read through that. That's actual, you know, like, texty stuff, like, background stuff. Wow. They're actually giving me time to read it this time? Okay, then. Never mind. Never mind, everybody. Please step out of the cell. Yeah. Just follow me. We're authorized to kill any disobedient test subjects, so don't try anything stupid. Sure, whatever, Counter-Strike riff off. Well, this is going to be fun. We get to face off against 173 again! I have honestly never... I don't think I've ever... I think I escaped from him once, and then he still killed me. He's the main bad guy of the game, I guess you could say. Or I guess I should say it. I don't really know if 173 has a gender. Here we are. Nice picture. 
picture of him. Follow the instructions from the intercom, and you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Attention, all Class D personnel. Please enter the containment chamber. Approach SCP-173 for testing. Uh, there seems to be a problem with the door control system. The door isn't responding to any of our attempts to close it, so please maintain direct eye contact with SCP-173 and just... <laughs> Shit's hit the fan! Let's GTFO! The way out is through the south way. Oh, boy. Oh, Christ, not this room again. Come on! Close the door! Oh, crap. Now I'm hearing another SCP, that sort of fluttering sound you guys heard? Well, that's our lovely friend uh, known as Radical Larry, or SCP-106, I believe? Very evil, evil guy, pulls you into a pocket dimension. Think of Breach from, uh, what was that show, Generator Rex? Good cartoon. Okay, so I don't see 173 in the room. We might actually just have a chance this time. So, uh, let's open the door and, uh, go inside. Oh, no. No. Fuck, I'm locked in here. Yeah, um... I just broke the save, you guys, because uh, these rooms... I forgot how to sprint. Well, you know what? Before he kills me, let's just quit the game. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So those rooms right there. The biggest problem with them is that, um, yeah, they close and are on a timer. So if you don't get through them in time, you get trapped inside. That not just black gas pretty much uh, fucks up your eyes. It's kind of like getting onion mist in them. So it makes you blink faster. Which, in that room right there, is a great way to get slaughterized by 173. Uh, one Damn it! Sorry, I used to be on the Destroy All Humans forums, and someone on there had uh, 137 at the end of their name, because, you know, Crypto's uh, clone number was 137. So that's kind of etched in my brain, and I'm going to keep butchering 173's number classification. Not name. Da -da -da, shut up, da -da -da, squad. I know. I know. I'm fucking it up. You don't have to point it out. I know you have nothing better to do with your lives. But there are things called jobs. Jobs and stuffs like debts. My god, I do not remember it ever taking this long to load. But I guess it's actually, you know, it actually kind of makes sense since the game is procedural. All the levels are procedural, which means that they, uh, they're randomized. Kind of like Minecraft, only Minecraft is far less sadistic than this. Unless you count the creepers. And I can see we just got a new viewer, Bulbasaur. Boilbasaur, actually. Boilbasaur. Yes, sir, or madam, I believe you are the only one here. But that's okay. 
Thank you for joining my stream to come and watch me die over and over again. I don't know why you'd want to watch that, but... This is probably, like, the third or fourth time I've been in the game and failed. So, currently I'm just waiting on the people to come to the door. Once again, for those of you on YouTube, you can pause that, read it that way. Got some work for you. Please yeah, I know. The cell. Just follow me. We're authorized to kill any disobedient subjects, so don't try anything stupid. Why? You mean like going into a room with a wrong homicidally? Way. Get over here right now. What do you mean wrong way? This is your scripted path, you jackass. I don't know if there's been any lag. Uh... So far, everybody that's joined the stream has said that there is no lag. I haven't really experienced much lag within the game itself. So it doesn't look like we will have any problems. Of course, now that I've said that, we've probably been jinxed, so everybody cross your fingers. Here we are. Get in there and follow the instructions from the intercom, and you'll probably be fine. Most indeed. Well, I am technically trying something stupid right now. Please enter the containment chamber. Please approach SCP-173 for testing. Oh no, some people gonna die. Hopefully, one of them is not me. So, please maintain direct eye contact with SCP-173, and just... That's okay, sir. You can, you can, you know, you can do your thing. I'll leave you to murder the people with guns. Open the door, open the door, open the door, open the door, back out. Now, uh... Please don't talk. Okay, good. That wasn't me. That wasn't me that died. Okay, good. I can hear 173. I can hear him. I can't see him anywhere. You can hear him moving through the vents. That really irritating, grating, scraping sound sort of thing. I don't know how to sprint in this game. I don't even know if there is a way to sprint. Um... I'm the only one playing this game, really? I know Markiplier plays this game a lot, but uh, I guess he hasn't been playing it a lot recently. So, I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. Hopefully I am. If I'm not, uh, oh well. Shift is run. Um, I have to remember that. Whoops. Come on. Okay, so yeah. That one does make it run. Good. I'm the only one playing on Twitch. I can probably understand why. SCP is quite a rare and uh, underrated game. Not that many people know about it. I only found out about it through Markiplier. If you're interested in seeing more, I highly recommend checking out Markiplier Game on YouTube. Great guy, really funny. Screams a lot while playing the game. Like, hopefully I will. I need a key card. Great. Well, on the right side, I have escaped 173 for now, so you guys can, uh, you can see me advance farther in the game without being murderized so early. 
Wow, I am apparently moving a lot faster than I normally would, somehow. I'm not complaining, though. I like moving faster than I normally would. It's very helpful. And like I said, all these levels are procedural. Uh, they're randomized. Come on, I clicked the door panel. Please close the door so monsters don't jump out and eat my face. That's much, much appreciated. Now that I've escaped 173 for the moment... Okay, I hear what sounds like... water. It must be near some pipes or something. I'm not really sure what that entails. Too much. Um, right, I've got to remember to close the doors behind me. If I don't close the doors behind me, then something's going to come up my asshole. Don't want that! I think I've been this way. Yeah, that door's open. Then again, it could just be the, uh, the SCP controlling the place. I have been this way. <laughs> Yes, I know, Dirt Dinner Squad, I have completely fucked up again. You don't need to point it out. Once again, I realize you have nothing better to do with your life than Dirt Dinner and everything I do. However, try and do something constructive with your Dirt Dinners. Like harass politicians. Or stupid people in general. Hmm. I'm gonna try going this way. Oh, this room. This room belongs to an SCP that is, uh, I believe it's sort of like a praying mantis. It's harmless as far as I know. Uh, let's see, here's the, uh, here's the piece of paper on it. Let's read up on this. SCP-372 is to be contained in a cell 5 meters by 4 meters by 2 meters lined with reinforced plexiglass. Um, creature of unknown genus, approximately two meters long from head to tail, and weighing approximately, uh, what is that, 45 kilograms? It has long, thin body with eight pairs of narrow limbs. Oh, so it's a spider, apparently. Or some sort of insect. All I know is that it's an insect. And I'm hearing something that I don't like the sound of. I'm just going to go back and close this door, because, uh, I don't like noises, especially in games like this. Oh, there's something over here. What is it? What can I pick up? Some sort of remote control, it looks like. Oh, a radio transceiver! I have no idea what that's for. I'm pretty sure I'll find out eventually. Whoa. Oh god, that sounds like Radical Larry. For those of you who don't know, Radical Larry is an SCP. That's his nickname. That's not his official classification. But he's a sort of black, dripping, skeletal monster being that lives in a, in a pocket dimension. And will take you there to spy on you and kill you. I would rather not uh, come across... If I hold down the button like this... Yes, this is a downloadable game. It is absolutely a downloadable game. Nope, I didn't catch a glimpse of it. SCP-372 is essentially a bug. It, uh, once you go in that room, it always remains behind you. And it will never go into your, uh, into your line of sight. I should also mention that this game is free and downloadable, so if you ever had the chance, please check it out. Uh, my computer can't handle most games, but it's handling this just fine. I thought it would actually be a lot more terrible than this. And it's essentially a point-and-click adventure, kind of like the Walking Dead from Telltale Games. You know, the good one. I think my transceiver is going off. 
Have I been in here? I swear to God I came this way. Okay, so yes, I have been this way. I can't believe I just went in a huge circle again. I'm gonna walk through the door here, slip, and uh, close the door. I guess I can try going this way. That's the worst thing about procedural levels. Now, there's absolutely no telling when uh, procedural Larry will procedural Larry. Radical Larry will pop up again. Oh God! Um, yeah, this this here is. If you ever see a red room like this, um, maybe it does have a map. Let me actually just you know back up out of here, press the button on the wall, close the door. There might be a map. No, no, there isn't a map. Usually in games like this, the map button is mapped. <laughs> mapped to the. Uh, Okay then, let's try this again. 173 going to be there. Hopefully not. Oh! What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. That must be the SCP that's in control of the building. There's actually an SCP in control of the building. Uh, it's an it's an AI, so kind of like Cortana. Ooh, this is dark and foreboding. Key card. Of course, I need a key card. Whoa. Okay, it is dark. I don't like it when it's dark. Darkness means I can't see this. Oh, fuck. I think this is SCP-173's room? No? Okay, I don't know what this room is, but I'm not staying another second. Uh, the goal of the game is actually to escape and survive. Um, there are endings to the game, uh, but they're all procedural. There's like four different endings, uh, there's two different paths you can take. Oh god, we've got another 173 room here, guys. I'll continue my explanation once, uh, you know, I get through here. I've gotta remember that shift is run. Gotta limber up my pinky, uh, my pinky finger. Okay. Let's get through here. <coughs> no, 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 no. Oh, thank God. Congratulations, guys. We have made it through the 173 room of evil. One of his containment rooms. I don't know why it's leaking the evil black gas in there, but, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's continue onward since we have made it past that. But as I was saying, the goal of the game, uh, there's four different endings you can get. Uh-oh, we have come across an SCP, everyone! It's the music sheet! Uh, it's Euclid, that usually means... Uh, oh, also, uh, you can see a conditional hazard down there or something like that. Cognition hazard! Or cognito hazard. Essentially what that means is if I go in that room, I'm gonna die. Um... So actually, hang on a second, let me, uh, I don't know if there's a save button. There probably is a save button. I would save and walk in there just to show, you know what, I'll save and quit just to show you guys what this SCP will do. So load game. Uh, SCP-714. This is another SCP. It's a ring. Not entirely sure what it does. I can't read the text because the window is so small. Probably the same for you guys. I'm sorry, but that's the only way I could fit both the chat box and the game on screen at the same time. I do not have dual monitors, uh, but I do want to get dual monitors, or at least some sort of way to that. 
Maybe a phone. Justin Bieber was arrested for drunk driving. A, what does that have to do with anything here? And B, why are you surprised at this? So yeah, like I said, everything's procedural. The game, uh, it's completely downloadable. It's absolutely free. You guys should check it out. Uh, I'm on version 7 right now. I should say the game is on, like, version 9. That's probably why the game isn't completely raping my hard drive and everything. Because he should be an SCP. Who's to say he isn't? He could very well be. I know for a fact I feel myself die a little inside whenever I hear his music. Okay, so uh, now that I have, you know, saved and everything, I'm going to... Ah! Never mind, never mind, I need a key card to open this door. Oh my god. Okay guys, so you can see that there is another SCP-173 room in here. And, um, he's in there right now. And you, you see how whenever I blinked, he sort of like tried to rape the wall there. He, he's, uh... Since I'm staring at him over the screen right now, uh, he's gonna do that. Whenever I blink, he's gonna move. Considering the fact that I've made it this far, I don't want to... Whoa, my god. Yeah, you can hear him moving throughout the ventilation system now, the scraping sound. I have to say, that's probably the worst part. You know, what's really annoying is that... Whoa! I saw something on that screen. Did you guys see that? Please tell me you guys saw that. There was something on that screen. There was totally something on that on that screen. I really don't think that was a glitch. I think that was meant to be something. Oh god. I seriously feel like I'm going to die right now. Cuz I can just hear him scraping the fuck around everywhere. Okay, so 173, are you still in this room? Or are you moving around through the ventilations? Okay, well it looks like he, um... He left the room to come chase after me. I don't know if he's gonna come back in there. But, uh, let's, let's blink. Let's open the door. Run inside. Real quick. Get through the room. Before the door closes. Yes! Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. We made it through another room of instant death. I'm gonna uh, blink several times to get the black, smoggy LA air out of my eyes and everything. Uh, yeah, the plot for the game, you can actually read it on Wikipedia. It's kind of hard to follow since the entire thing, um,. You actually... why do I feel like I've been this way? Now I feel like I've been this way. They need signs in this place. Oh! More of those noises. So let's see, what is this? Ah, I have been back this way. Oh my god. Oh, fuck! Okay, guys, um, I have just run across Radical Larry. He's coming for me. Oh 
back up. I can't see you. You're not there if I can't see you. Oh dear. Okay, so I'm I'm not dead. Radical Larry um, has just teleported me to his dimension. His uh, he's teleported me to his um, pocket dimension. Uh, I have no idea why the camera is tilted, but um, one of these paths leads to a way out, and the way you know to go is there's going to be a piece of paper in one of these pathways. Uh, it's not that one. Uh, you've got to be careful which one you go down. There's either going to be a piece of paper or a message down one of these pathways. It's going to be like right here at the beginning of the passage. And uh, the entire time, um, Radical Larry is going to be watching over you while you're moving around through his little pocket dimension. He is a sick, sadistic mother, uh, sick, sadistic motherfucker. Uh, I know for a fact, uh, one of these pathways... Ah, here we go, here we go. See right here? I just picked it up. Dr. George Maynard, your new personnel code. Find the seal to broken blah blah blah, something or other. So, yeah, we know this is the right way to go. Because we found that note there. Oh, uh, and you can hear Radical Larry sort of, uh, cackling in the background. Oh dear. I have no oh my god. Yeah, those things will actually knock- Oh! Oh, I'm dead. I believe I'm dead. Yep. For a lot of people, it is a huge chore to escape Radical Larry's dimension. Uh, the last time I saved was, of course, right outside, um... The musical sheet, SCP-372, I think. So let's. Whoa, where am I? Okay, this is new. Um, this is new. Oh my God! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my God! No, 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 no! How did I get in here? No! No, 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 does not compute. Does not compute. Music music sheet is 012. Thank you. Well, I do believe that the music sheet 012 has got me. Can I? This item seems to be locked. Can I defend myself at all? It seems to have me ensnared a little bit. I'm going to try and make my way away from the music sheet. It almost ensnared me. I, I believe I have escaped. Oh, crap. I need a key card. I do believe the save game just screwed up on me, guys. Radical Larry got me and threw me into his, uh... Ah, I glitched through the floor, yet there was something to fall into. And I'm assuming that something just happened to be 012's room. If I write on the paper, I die. Okay. Don't write on the paper. Well, I don't have a key card, so it doesn't appear like there's any way for me to get out of here right now. Uh, as you can see, I think it has me ensnared again if I go back down here. So, you know what, guys? Let's go in here and show the nice viewers on YouTube exactly what this thing's going to do. Ah, that's what this is. Okay, so the music sheet, SCP-012, it kills you if 
you write on it. And the reason you do that is because if you look at it, it ensnares you and it forces you to finish it with your own blood. It's endless, however, so you're going to sit there and essentially consume all your own blood to complete the music sheet. That's what this SCP does. Thank you in the stream, guys. Tracks Weya, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and Boilbasaur. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for joining the stream. It's very much appreciated. I'm really surprised it hasn't killed me yet. I expected to be dead by now. You're telling me, how much blood do you have? Ah, you ripped the whole. Uh, you, ripped the you ripped the wound wide open. So essentially, it forces you to slit your wrist and right into it. Okay, well, I wanted to show you guys what the music sheet did. There we go. Let's try and load the game, and this time hopefully without falling through the floor. Another big thank you to the people in the stream. Thank you for joining and watching. It's very much appreciated. Okay. So let's continue. Uh, okay, I did not fall through the floor this time. Uh, I feel shorter, though. I think I'm sinking into the floor a little bit. Or I'm somehow short. Err. So... Is 173 in there? Yes, he is! Oh, dear. You know what? Let's try and lure him out of there. Whoa, I saw something on that freaking screen. Okay. So let's, uh, let's move. I have no idea if I'm crouching. No, I'm not crouching. I, I don't think I am. I am crouching. I don't know how. I don't know how I started off doing that. Okay, so uh, here we go. We have another uh, 173 room. So uh, hopefully he'll, you know, tag along through the ventilation systems and pop up in there. And then we can go to the other one and get through there safe and sound. Uh, no, Drexway, I'm not playing the uh, newest update. I'm playing version 7, I believe. 7.1. One of those. I believe it's 7 or 7.1. And the reason for that is, um, I didn't want to update for fear that my computer couldn't handle the new version. Okay, so it looks like, uh, 173 is not in there now. So let's just open the door and run, run. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Well, that went well. Okay, so I'm now trapped in here. I'm going to have to load my game. No zombies? I'm assuming you're talking about the SCP dressed up like, uh, what was it? A renaissance doctor? One of the, with the plague masks? Those screens will screw you up and... 0 0.9.1, that's the version they're on now, really. Well then. Uh, but no, I'm not playing uh, the updated version. Uh, I'm actually really surprised that this version is playing so well on my PC because uh, my PC has a simple AMD Semfron. Yes, SCP-049, SCP-49, the Plague Doctor. I knew that's what you're talking about. Um, I've seen Markiplier run into him a few times on YouTube, several times, as a matter of fact. I've also seen gameplay of him. I've seen some stuff about him. The SCP Foundation website has a little... I think they have a video about him. Like, an interview. 
But yeah, my computer's just an AMD, it has an AMD Simfron dual-core processor, which, you know, isn't really meant for games. It can play games, it's just they're not going to play well, especially if I've got the chat open and my broadcasting software running. Uh, XSplit. So, uh, I'm actually really surprised that this is working. Ah, interesting. I know in one of the endings the mobile task force kills you. I know that for a fact. Okay. Okay, so excellent. I'm uh, back to where I was. Let's see if we can't go find 173 again. Maybe hopefully skirt around him. Yep, of course he's in there. I know you want me. I know you want me. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can't trick him into skirting around with me a little bit in the ventilation systems. I think I just heard Radical Air again, so, you know, that'll be fun if I ever run into him again. Okay, so here we are back at this room. Hopefully 173 has decided to, uh... Try and follow us over here. Yeah, Master Phoenix, they're actually talking about lines from one of the MVPs in the game. Okay, um let's let's see. Is he in there? Is he still in there? Okay, it looks like 173 has vacated the room. Good. Whoa, no, no, no. Okay, let's not go in. I kind of screwed up on the controls there. I'm going to go ahead and close this door because having it open just makes me feel uncomfortable. Okay, let's blink. Open the door. And we've got to get through this door before it closes. Yes! Success. Time switch closes the door automatically. I don't know. Uh, no, I don't have the gas mask yet. I do not have the gas mask yet. Um, essentially, in the first part of the game, I was just trying to get away from uh, 173 before he killed me. I'd already failed like four times before I started this part of the game. Uh, and... Yeah, okay, so I don't want to go back that way. What would happen if I went to this way? Okay, you gotta be careful in these rooms. Yep, that's right, I do need to save. Thank you for pointing that out, sir. Let me get in here and close this door. Okay. Let me save the game real quick, you guys. Ah, there's the Plague Doctor, SCP-049. That is actually a very creepy shot. I like that. Don't struggle. Very creepy. He's one of the creepier SCPs, but uh, I don't think he's as inherently dangerous as 173 is. Radical Larry isn't too dangerous. F5. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Drax Weah. I really hope I'm getting your name right. Thank you for that. F5 to say That's very helpful. Do not be afraid. I am the cure. So, yes. Sorry you guys have to wait through the loading screens. I did not know there was a save button. It does have voice acting. It does have voice acting, yes. 
Very good voice acting, too. I really like a lot of the SCPs that have voices, like the Plague Doctor, for example. Okay. We're doing good again. F5 is safe. Thank you for that, sir or madam. That's very much appreciated. Okay. Wonder what's through the open door. Somehow I feel like I've been this way. Uh oh. What's in here, I wonder? Oh, what are these? <laughs> oh my god, there are joints in the game? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, there's another transceiver. I remember picking that up earlier. Oh god. Oh god. Um... I... I'm hearing radical... Oh my god! Radical Larry has decided to pay me a visit, everybody! Radical Larry has decided to pay me a visit! Okay, um, um, um... And the worst part is, he can go through walls and stuff. I don't know if I'll be able to get away from him. Oh fuck, I heard 137 that way. You know, and I'd, I'd actually- ah! Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, the truth is, I would rather, uh, I would rather face Radical Larry than 137. At least I have the chance to escape Radical Larry's pocket dimension. Now, let's see, I need to find that piece of paper that almost completely destroyed note. That will show me the right way out. Definitely don't want to go that way. It's not that way. Not that way. Ah, I think I found it. Yep, there it is. So let's pick that up. And uh, continue going. Uh, I don't... Ah, another one of these rooms. Maybe there's another clue as to which way I should go. Oh, I didn't like the sound of that. I would honestly rather deal with Radical Larry than I would 173. Uh, well, one of these ways has to be the right way to go. Um, I suppose I should just try and pick one. Whoa, what? Oh. This looks, uh, different. Okay. I obviously went the wrong way, and I'm going back now. Not this. Not this. This is what got me last time. Ow! Okay. You're a little late on saying don't die. No problem, though. Let's get back into the game. 
Let's get back up on the horse. Yeah, chances are I'm probably not going to finish the game tonight, guys. That should be inherently obvious. This game has uh, way too much going for it to be this short. For an indie game, it's actually very long and very entertaining. Once again, I highly recommend looking it up. Maybe Radical Larry won't decide to come pay me a visit again. <laughs> I'm going to take the blunts uh, again, just because. The blunt is actually a joke. You should at least find the butt ghost. Yes, I agree there. Oh, and I have a, I have a, uh, I have a uh, key card now. It's going to be extremely helpful in the long run. Oh shit! You know, just as you say that, sir, he decides to come up through the floor. Well, you know what, sir, I am not afraid of you. Come on, let's hug, bro. Okay. So since this, uh, since this save has essentially led me to pot and a key card, I don't want to give up on it that easily. Larry's not going to deter me. He's not going to deter me. I'm going to tell you guys that. Ah, you know, we're doing a lot, uh, we're doing a lot better this time, you guys. Whoa. Oh, this. Right. Um, do you guys know if there's a jump button? Oh, wait, no, there isn't. I just need to, uh, go down, I suppose? You missed me dying a lot, Ace Ninja X. You missed me dying a lot. You missed quite a bit, sir. Currently, I am in the pocket dimension for Radical Larry, and I, ha I am completely lost. Um, I think I just... Or maybe not. Nope, nope. We're good. We're good. I figured out what I gotta do. The Radical Larry's pocket dimension. I think. Whoa! Where am I now? Great. Back here. Like a trippy staircase. Yep. Yep, that is absolutely true. Um. So I'm back in the, uh, the maze again. That's really encouraging. Oh, I didn't like what just happened there. Okay. Normally in situations like this, I would start doing eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yes, you do. It's free and it's downloadable. It's on version 9 right now. I'm only playing version 7. I don't know how much different version 9 is. I can definitely tell you that version 7 has almost made me piss my pants on several occasions. Whoa! Oh my god! Um... Facility. We'll start escorting personnel out when the escaped SCPs have been reconnected. 